In a second, I'm gonna start prepping and showing you how to make this awesome guacamole. Uh, for now, I'll take my surprise ingredient, which is grapes. I'm just going to start pulling some of these off. Let me grab a bowl here. As you can see, I'm standing in front of all my collected dishes. I use them for props um, when I do photo shoots. And this is actually where I do a lot of my photo shoots, right here in the corner of my apartment, next to the window. Um, I have some little surfaces. This is one of my favorite surfaces, so that's my tabletop for now. My kitchen here in New York is tiny, so I try to do my videos not in the kitchen. It's also dark. Jamie Lynn Nye says, hi, Tara. Hey, Jamie Lynn. And Tara <laughs> says, I love sweet grapes. In anything savory. Mm. Oh, good. Thanks, Mel, for reading me the <laughs> comments. <laughs> I can't read and talk at the same time. Um, I'm so glad you guys are joining. Oh, these grapes are totally in season, and they're so good. I have black ones, red ones, and green ones. And usually I don't get green ones just because they're a little more tart, and I don't know. I can't eat very many of them without getting sick of them. These. I ate a whole bunch. They are so good. Um, I guess I just have to get them in season. Love red grapes. And then black grapes, I don't see very often, but I suggest you grab them when you see them. They are really good, really sweet, and have a, a nice classic grape flavor. Not just like a fruity, juicy situation, but they actually have a nice flavor. Um, I'm just doing a little bit. So this guacamole, not measuring any ingredients. I'll tell you approximate amount, but often when I make guacamole, I just eyeball it and then taste it as I go, which is the most fun part. Um, all right, I think that's enough grapes for now. We'll put that over on my other table since this is a tiny space. Um, if you have any other questions, I'm gonna show you this fun trick. Well, let me do that in a minute. I'm gonna cut the avocados. I actually got some pretty decently ripe avocados. Um, I like to just give them a little squeeze at the store and then leave them overnight, sometimes in a paper bag, to get them perfectly ripe. So for my guacamole, I often use about, I don't know if it's for a small gathering, about four avocados. And my little trick, I think most people know that little trick. And then my other favorite thing to do is take that and just lightly score the avocado, not going through the skin. So you kind of have to get a feel if the tip of the knife touches the bottom of the avocado in there and you get a good little score. I go both ways. This just saves me, you could scoop the whole thing out. This just saves me a little bit of smashing time. Oh, and I realized I didn't pull my favorite smasher off the pegboard, so I will go and get that in a minute. Then I scoop my avocado out and it's in these nice little pieces. I actually like my guacamole a little chunky, so some of these pieces I leave just as is and the others get mashed up into a smooth situation. Um, what do you guys like in your guacamole? What typically do you put in? I know my dad loves tomatoes, um, some people like white onions, some people like green onions, um, some yellow onions, I don't know. But I, I like to mix it up. I don't love tomatoes in mine, so we're not getting that today. I like jalapenos or peppers. I do poblano. I love roasting poblano peppers and then chopping them up and putting them in my guacamole. Uh, today I'm actually using Anaheim chilies which are these beautiful kind of light green chilies. Sometimes they come a little fatter, but I just dice those up. Um, it gives a little more heat than your typical, you know, mild chili pepper. Um, but I like it and I like finding whatever's fresh and different in the grocery store. Uh, summer is guacamole time, so the avocados were pretty cheap and beautiful. They're right in season. Um, any questions, Mel? Uh, your mom says hi. Hey, mom. 
Tara says, I like it smooth. Garlic powder and black pepper lots with a bit of lime juice and cilantro. Oh, cool. That sounds really good. And when you make it so smooth like that, do you ever use it as a spread on sandwiches or anything? I love doing that. Or like little appetizer toasts or something like that. I always think that's kind of fun. Um, so my other thing that I love in guacamole is green onions, scallions. Um, I like the flavor a little bit better. It's very oniony, but it's not so chunky. So Tara, if you like smooth guacamole, um, garlic or scallions are great because they're not as crunchy or chunky as a regular onion. I hope I'm talking loud enough. Let me know if I'm not. Um, just scoring my avocados as I go. And then right after I put my avocados in the bowl, I usually squeeze my lime juice over it. And I love lime and a little bit of salt. The salt brings out the flavor of everything. It brings out the flavor of the lime and the avocado, the butteriness of the avocado. Um, did you know that salt brings out the flavor? Oh, we've got more questions. Um, it's not necessarily a flavor itself, although it's delicious, uh, but it enhances the flavor of your ingredients. So let's see. Oh, Mel, you're such a genius. She made the questions and comments big for me. Um, let's see. They're coming. Oh, black pepper. That's a good one, Tara. I didn't think of that. I usually use like a chili sauce or hot sauce if I want a little peppery taste. This avocado is not quite as ripe. Actually, I'm not going to use it. I'll like grill that or something later. It's not quite as soft and I want a nice soft bite when I eat this on a chip. Oh, this one's beautiful. Look at that. Do you sometimes buy avocados? You spend so much money on them. They feel right, they look good, and then you get them home, you cut into them, and they're not. That is the worst. Anyway, these were all beautiful. I got them. Okay, so I don't like tr shopping at Trader Joe's, but I did shop at Trader Joe's. I love their stuff. I love their prices. Their lines are not fun. But I went there this morning, and there weren't very many lines, and their avocados were lovely. Ooh, that's not coming out. All right, nobody's told me what they're doing for the 4th of July. I'm probably going to the beach here in New York. Um, I've been going to the Rockaways Beach. You can get there by subway. And I don't have to get on the Long Island Railroad and deal with masses of people. I just go get my seat on the train, take my little umbrella and sit at the beach. It's kind of a nice perk of living in the city is the beach isn't too far away and you don't have to have a car. Avocado's done. Okay, so I'm ready to put my lime juice over it. That's four avocados. Da -da. I saved my fifth one to use for another situation when it's softer. Oh, let's see, I'll leave this here. And then I'm just gonna put some lime juice in. So depending on how juicy your limes are, you may need two, you may need three. Let's see how juicy these are. They're about medium. So with four avocados, you're gonna want, I don't know, start with a tablespoon. I'll get it now. Start with a tablespoon of lime juice and then add from there if you like it limey or less limey. Um, all right, so I probably got, I probably got a tablespoon in there now. Just a second, I'm gonna go get my handy tool. Okay, I'm back. This is my favorite guacamole tool. It's actually a pastry blender. And I just mash the avocado up with that. I find using a fork a little bit tedious and because Tara, I don't like it smooth like you, this allows for a few little chunks, but if I keep going, it will get smooth. So I just mash it. It's like using five forks at once. It's so perfect. I'm gonna add a little salt now. 
our little flavor enhancer. Probably, I don't know, start with three quarters of a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. I use kosher salt. <clears throat> if you don't know about kosher salt or you don't often use it, my avocados are falling on the ground. It's not a real table, people. Okay. Oh, yeah, thank you. I have a friend here. You have a friend who's allergic to lime juice but loves avocado and guac. Can you use lemon juice? Absolutely. Um, you can use any acid. In fact, you could use vinegar. Um, a nice apple cider vinegar or flavored vinegar is great. All you need is that acid to brighten it and to bring out the other flavors and to make it that tangy, yummy undertone that you want in guacamole. <gasps> Look at that, it's so beautiful already. Okay. Getting this off. Let me see, I think there's a few others. Okay. Oh, fun, Em, you're gonna read a book for the 4th of July, maybe the beach. You live in California, that makes sense. And, oh, fireworks. Here's the thing, they moved the New York fireworks to the east side this year. They've been on the west side for quite a while. I'm really upset. I don't wanna hike over to the east side with the crowds. Yes, New York is a different experience than Arizona, Terra, or Utah. Um, all right, I'm adding my chilies. These are my Anaheim chilies. Let's start with about, I don't know, I'm gonna do three quarters of a cup. So that is about three quarters of a cup because I had four large avocados. And I'm gonna put my green onions in, scallions, if you will. I chopped up the white and the green parts. So I'm gonna put in I think about a, a happy half a cup in there. Um, I think that's gonna look good. Oh, I also love making guacamole that's all green. I think it's so much fun. Um, Chikara, hi! Thanks for joining. Um, oh, how can you get your kids to eat guac? I don't know, are they scared of the color or are they scared of not knowing what's in it? Um, I know I never ate it when I was younger because I was kind of, I, I wasn't sure about avocados, um, but once I tasted them, put a little salt on them, um, I was a very, very picky child. I'm still very picky. And uh, I, I don't know, maybe they can help you make it or choose the ingredients that go in it. Like today I'm making great guacamole. That might be really fun for them and they might be excited about that. Um, oh, texture. Make it super chunky. Like it, don't make it pasty. You can just chop the avocado up. You don't have to mash it at all. Would that help, Chinkara? I don't know. Anyway, my next ingredient is cilantro. You don't have to put cilantro in if you don't like cilantro. I happen to really like cilantro. You could also put a hint of basil in. You could put some parsley in if you want the herbiness. But the green onion also adds sort of that herbiness. You could put chives in. Um, you can skip the cilantro if you want. I know it's very polarizing. Um, ooh, mango, that's a good one, Shankara. Um, yeah, try it chunky, almost like a salsa that's not really runny, or like a little avocado salad, and then they can get used to the flavor and then the texture might not bother them as they go. Um, living in Utah, they like their patri pa patriotic holidays, that's right, Tara. Oh, that's fun. You can go up on the mountains and watch fireworks. I have to go on the top of buildings and watch fireworks. Um, but it's actually funny, speaking of that, Manhattan is surprisingly hilly. Uh, so even though, you know, I can see across the city, there's hills, and so I can't see the fireworks, even if I'm on the top of a building. So I'm putting in about half a cup of cilantro. I chopped it. I had picked it and washed it the other day. It keeps great if you wrap it in a wet paper towel. Um, so if you hate picking herbs like me, do it all at once, keep it in the fridge, you can use it. Um, is there more? It hasn't scrolled up. Oh, oh Ryan, how are you, Ryan? Um, we like to, to put our sour cream in our guacamole. No, that's not weird at all, putting sour cream in guacamole. Um, it makes it super creamy and lightens it um, and gives it that little bit of tang. I think that's really smart. I love hearing all of these additions and um, unique takes on guacamole. That's exactly what I'm doing today. Okay, let's see, I'm checking myself. Time for grapes. So, if you can see me, 
I'm gonna cut my little grapes up. I picked them off the vine and I have this great serrated paring knife. So it's easiest if you have a nice sharp little paring knife. Um, if you don't have sharp knives, sharpen them or buy a new one. Anyway, this serrated one hits through like little tomatoes and grapes perfectly. So I'm actually gonna cut them in quarters, maybe even some of them a little smaller than quarters because I want to be able to get a grape and the guacamole and all the little bits on the end of my chip when I eat it. Um, okay, let's see if I'm missing anything. <gasps> peanut butter, chin, chinkara. I use avocados like peanut butter and spread it on toast. That's how I got used to the flavor anyway. Emily, that's such a great idea. Plus, avocado toasts are super trendy. That's awesome. Um, oh, Chinkara, I'm excited to see. Like, are your kids excited about trying new things and then they're turned off by it? Or is it just hard for you to get them to try new things? Um, let's see. They're hearing from the top. Okay. So the grapes, I'm thinking I'll do, I don't know. I think I'll start with about half a cup, but I have a feeling I'm going to end up with about three quarters of a cup in here. Um, they're nice little small bits and pieces. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. Um, another thing I do, I know it sounds kind of funny, but in the winter time, I have put uh, sweet red scarlet grapefruits in my guacamole. So avocados you can get year round, uh, just depends on where you get them from and that juicy juicy burst of sweet grapefruit is so surprisingly good in guacamole i still use a bit of lime juice because it brightens it but uh the citrus is nice like i like i told emily you can use lemon grapefruit juice whatever you want in your guacamole just a little acid um i know people that put nuts in their guacamole that's a little too much crunch for me because and Tara, you would hate that because you like smooth guacamole. But it happens. People put all sorts of things in their guacamole. All right, I'm gonna put these in. See how it looks. I cook by look a lot, and then I also cook by taste. So we definitely need more, almost twice that much. So it will be, like I said, close to three quarters of a cup. And those green grapes are really big, so I'm cutting them small. Um, what other foods do you like cooking for like 4th of July parties? <gasps> Pomegranate seeds are such a good idea to add to guacamole. Good call, Chinkara. I actually put pomegranate seeds on top of my uh, grapefruit guacamole. I think it's on my website. I'll have to go double check. Um, oh, all right. Hurrying along. Let's add this to this. Okay. I'm ready to stir this up and taste it. Have my little spatula. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so delicious. I love the juicy bits in there. Okay. Let's see. I like to taste it with a chip. Let's put some chips here. Get a little. Mmm. I'm going to put a little bit more salt and then as I'm stirring that in, everything else tastes great. I can taste the lime, I can taste the grapes and the buttery avocados. I'm going to show you a trick. If you're watching your weight or you just want to eat healthy, chips are great, but these little on wedges are great to use as chips. Cut the end off, pull the leaves off, put them on a platter and you can use them for your healthy chip dip. Anyway, keep asking questions, I'll answer them later. Thanks for joining and enjoy your summertime grape guacamole.